Hello, welcome to DKG Well, I am your host, King Kaz. I am joined by the namesake, Curly, uh, Drunk Kids Gaming. I am joined also by the namer of the show, Visual Jamie, and by the dude with purple, pinkish, orange hair. Welcome to a new week of the show. The world is changing. There are Apple Watches that you can look at, <laughs> but you can't buy. Are um, those out now? Wait, really? You can, you can go look at them. You can make an appointment to go look at it. Your specific one? No. You can go and look at the one that they have in the store and then be like, man, you know what I do want, though? I do want that. Could, but can it come in blue? And they're like, yeah, we can we can make it in blue for you. <laughs> but you have to make an appointment to go look at the one that they have in store to then make an appointment to design the one that you want. I think that's how it works. Are we going into stories or is this just uh, your intro to the show? This is just the intro to the show. This is just the talkie talks. We kind of, you know, we catch up with each other and see what we've been up to or whatever. But I know what Curly's been up to. He's been playing fucking Bloodborne like a fucking Literally monster. day and night. It's shooting. I need to get it. It needs to be done. It needs to be done by Tuesday. Why Tuesday? Because Titan Souls is coming out on Tuesday. No, no. More games. More games. Too many games. What's Titan Souls? Titan Souls is an indie game. Uh, It's being published by Devolver Digital, who has currently done no harm on their entire repertoire uh, discography of video games that they've produced. Uh, It is amazing uh, looking. As top down, looks like Super Brothers pixel art. Amazing game. It's Souls oriented, obviously. It's like a mixture of Shadow of the Colossus and a Souls game. It's gonna be glorious, and I'm gonna play the fucking tits out of it. But it's supposed to drop Tuesday, I think. Two D pixel art version called Death's Gambit. Death's Gambit is coming out as well, Mm -hmm. or did did already come out? No, it's coming out. I think it's coming out. out. Maybe it's come out. I gotta play that too. There's also fucking um, Salt and Sanctuary is coming out. Oh yeah. Um, But that Salt and Sanctuary is. We really their 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 release day is we really hope sometime this year. <laughs> you know, so, oh yeah, that's always yeah. a good one. <laughs> so yeah. who knows with that? You might see this game. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe ish. Hopefully it's before like we waiting for, uh, die. Viking Squad is next year. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Half Life Three later. Sometime sometime in your lifetime. Uh, Ace of Jekyll doesn't mean we're done with Bloodborne. It means I want to finish the main story of Bloodborne, or at least finish the game before then. But this is all this is all drunk kids gaming uh, bullshit news. It's just what I've been up to and whatnot. Yep. Uh, I guess J- Jamie's been working on art because once again, Miller's, Miller's shooting mountains. <laughs> so, <laughs> but so those don't know. Right before the goddamn show started, Miller linked us a video of like, he was very very <laughs> proud of. He was like, "Here's what I've been doing, guys." Like you know. <laughs> Most people are like, ah, I, built, I built a house. I've been working on a new car, uh, whatever. And Miller's just just shooting an AK at a fucking uh, <laughs> the mountain, a the hump of goes. earth. <laughs> hump of earth. I want that. I want that. You like, you know, when somebody goes hunting and they have like the picture of their kill. I just want Miller like standing the with mountain. his foot on a mountain. <laughs> just a, <laughs> it's just a, it's a, a AK, like, holding grass. Got it's got him. the yeah. dirt in it. Got him. Just to clarify, it was an AR-15. Oh, oh excuse oh, me. Sorry. <laughs> AR-15. Right. Get your facts straight. <laughs> yeah. Please. Woo, America. <laughs> You're allowed to do I will defend your honor and right to shoot any mountain you want. <laughs> I don't believe in your reasoning for doing so, but I will defend your reasons. <laughs> Until I die. Second but, Amendment. Uh, that mountain Anybody that tries to take that mountain way. from you, you, they better come with guns. <laughs> Oh my god! I just no. I love the whole concept of Miller killing a mountain. I like. I'm just trying to figure out how he mounts that to his wall. What now. I'm gonna love <laughs> is the the the. I don't know. I want to say thousands of years from now, archaeologists that are gonna come across that that heap of earth, and just be like, "That is so weird." It's like there's no battle in this the area battles. for the last thousand years, <laughs> but there is a shit ton of bullets right here in this mountain under this tree. Like, I did, wonder what was the, happening yeah. at the earth at this time. You're like, did the 20th century humans? Fight mountains? Like, was they, did they like not understand Shadow what they were? And then dinosaurs came back, and then maybe this guy just missed a, his target a bunch of times. <laughs> He's got a bad shot. Some people set up cans, Miller. Why well, set up targets. cans when you could kill a mountain? Yeah, the target was Earth. You gotta hit the Earth. <laughs> Why don't you just fire up? <laughs> 
Firing up Jeez. is never good. No, fire <laughs> up and open. Eventually, land they somewhere. come back down. Yeah, no, you fire a whole round of, into the sky, and then you just <laughs> run around, and that's that's fun. <laughs> you know, whoever zero. makes it, a bullet has gone yeah, through my was. roof before, and we're like, G-G. "Hey, why, why is it what? leaking? Where is that water coming from? Uh, like, oh, there's just a bullet <laughs> in my ceiling." Texas. Not not to actually sound like I'm completely one up in your story, but that's happened to me twice. Twice, <laughs> yeah. Wow. One one time when I moved to Arizona, the first night that we moved to Arizona, uh, I was in the area uh, that was not really good on Nineteenth Street, in near the one hundred and one. And uh, our first night there, so the, as the story goes, we didn't know this until afterwards. Talking to the cops, but uh, someone got into a uh, a kerfuffle at a local gas station. With another uh, patron at that gas they station. Shooting at the gas station. And uh, no, no, they waited till later. But no, actually, no. The guns got pulled out <laughs> in the middle of the fight, like it was some fucking, uh, you know, uh, DiCaprio version of a uh, of uh, Romeo and Juliet. And uh, guns got pulled, and so the guys got in their car and they raced home. And the other guys were following them, shooting at them GTA style. Uh, <laughs> they the one guys pulled into our gated community. And uh, had a shootout in the parking lot right next to my house. And, uh, yeah, there was a bullet that went over through the window of the bedroom over our bed into the bathroom door. Um, cool beans. Wow. Uh, yeah, we had to, we had uh, to pull the bullet cool. out for the cops. <laughs> um, and then it happened again. We were at another apartment uh, years later in, in, back here in San Diego. And uh, it wasn't the first night, but, but uh, someone shot. And it just the the shrapnel or ricochet or whatever it was like a tiny piece of bullet uh, went through the bathroom window with a tiny little bathroom window and uh, clanged around in the bathroom uh, one night and uh, and the landlord tried to charge us for the bullet hole in the window. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sure. need you to pay for this. Like I didn't do it. <laughs> like, it just happened. That's, yeah. that's, 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 bullets. that's just do. environment ass slash act of God. Bullets. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, sorry to one up. <laughs> like, no, I've been no, shot at a few few more times than I ever want to admit. Yeah, you've been but, shot uh, at. Mine was just no, raining I've, bullets. Uh, I've somewhere. had a moment of like uh, um, sitting, not in this house, but in the house we lived in before this, sitting in my living room playing video games as you do, and there were guys out in the street arguing. And then the next thing you know, you hear, "Oh no, he's got a gun." And, you know, a couple of shots. And then you wait a while for things to kind of dissipate and you go out. And I'm like, man, there are holes in my awning now. How? Do-? And I lived on a fucking hill. So I was like, they're on the flat street. How did you miss that? Were you just like, ah, like, did you close your eyes? And just hurt? Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. they, should, they should have trained by shooting more mountains. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. That's how you do it. You gotta zero in. Also, I'll, I'll, also the random one gun story that I always forget until until it starts getting brought up. Uh, I I I had the school shooting in San Diego. There was a guy who brought a gun to school, and uh, we all got locked down and all that stuff. Not to pull the tragedy lever. Uh, no one died in my school shooting, so it wasn't like national news. But yeah, it was one of those early school shooter uh, uh, stories, if you will. Fun time. Oh, so he was a failure. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> onward. DKG Welp well, covering all the topics. <laughs> oh, DKG Welp. Well, DKG Welp. Um, all right. So I guess I'll just move on to our news bag segment because it's uh, kind of my favorite segment at this point. It's our um, only segment. Not this week. Uh, we got some other segments this week. Um, so news bag uh, this week filled with a bunch of news stories. I uh, pull news stories out. We talk about them. So uh, this first one is Wait. Scrubs. Can what? I interrupt? What? You need what? next episode you need an actual bag. <laughs> Where you can pull the stories out? This isn't Check fucking blues clues or Check Sesame Street. <laughs> Let's see what I've got here, children, in the news bag. Boop. <laughs> it's just a bloody Boop. sack. Uh, scrubs. You, you said scrubs, you had my attention at scrubs. Go on. Yes. I'm white. Scrubs yes. pizza to the gays. Um, uh, okay. uprocks.com um, in the uh, great state of Indiana you can now get gay married and uh, the great Zach Braff who starred in Scrubs with one Donald Faison tweeted out if you really and truly want pizza for your gay wedding in Indiana we'll make it for you and he uh, oh yeah because Indiana went and told everyone that you can't 
have gays. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I actually haven't listened to the news in a while. How did that play out, by the way? I, I don't know about that. I listen to I, NPR. I'm probably the only one that listens to NPR because I'm <laughs> an old-ass white man. <laughs> uh, I love the Scrubs angle because fucking, uh, dude, uh, me and Turk would have hung the fuck out. i got to say that right now. Um, <laughs> wow. No, yeah, so the, the whole reason of the story, and not to make it an actual news story instead of a funny Scrub story, but like, like Indiana put, passed a law about Religious Freedom Act, blah, 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 meaning basically the way they wanted the wording to be without being racist and, and not racist, but uh, discriminatory and whatnot was, uh, you know, no one has to do anything that breaks their religious abilities. You know, it was the Religious <laughs> Freedom Act, which sounds on paper like, sure, whatever, let religion people do whatever they want. But that basically got interpreted by everyone's being... Okay, cool. So now we don't have to serve gay people at our restaurants or we don't have to sell, you know, socks to gay people or whatever. Mm. Like that whole kind of thing kind of went away. And uh, the 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 uh, the mayor or whoever does the bills, I don't even know actually at this point because I've been drinking a good lot of whiskey at some point was like or right immediately was like, (laughs) that's not what this law is about. Like, let's change this law. So it says explicitly you cannot deny rights to gay people based on that. Like and so I don't know where I went from there. Um, yeah, quickly trying to water down the language is exactly what he did. He was like immediately like, no, 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 yeah. no. That's not what it's about. It's about religion. You can't discriminate against anybody. Um, the trouble is, everyone that saw that as a victory, the people that are discriminatory, were like, sweet, that law passed. But if you yeah. now take that law and you add to it that says specifically, because before you could just kind of fudge it, you know, like, no, no, it's because of religion. I just don't want to serve this person because my own ideas, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But if you explicitly put in no, you cannot discriminate against anyone <laughs> specifically. Then all of a sudden, everyone's like, "No, no, no! We just just take the law away now. We don't want to. We don't want to pass that new law. We just, you know, no." Yep. I yeah. think I also heard something about uh, Gen Con, not like possibly because I think they do their convention in Indiana, and that's the big tabletop yeah. convention. Yeah. And they were like, "Yeah." Oh, everybody uh, dropped Indiana. <laughs> Everybody. No, bro. Like, if that's going to be a thing, we're out. I mean, I don't know much um, about basketball or, uh, yeah, basketball, the March Madness stuff, but wasn't there like, like, they were like, no, we're not going to allow the team to play. Like, <laughs> they were like, it's. <laughs> yeah? I don't know. Like, I don't know what it was. I, I, I heard about it on NPR. What's up, Nart? <laughs> Go listen to uh, people who have more information on the source if you actually care. I mean, I think I think more it's fair to say the dudes from Scrubs are making you pizza. <laughs> <laughs> sure, uh, and and pizza. that's what this is all about, though. I mean, yeah. And so, so I think everyone here kind of knows our opinion on on this. So it's not really much of a story for us to talk about. We're not going to have like, well, we've brought in two of our uh, uh, gay hating uh, viewers here, you know, like, <laughs> and we're going to have a debate. Those, like, we're, uh, th- those goddamn gays. If we sat here and started like talking about Thinking discrimination, it would just be a, a very long one sided. Uh, yeah. Discrimination is bad. Yeah. Duh. Can, like it would bad. just be that for Don't an hour. Do it. Um, I can play the devil's advocate. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Use some uh, saucy language. Not on my fucking channel. You're not. Doing it. We'll do that show on Kaz's channel. Kaz That's plays the, devil's advocate. NASCAR guy. Would he come? Oh yes. <laughs> what? NASCAR guy. What? What NASCAR guy? No VBG Scrubs is still good. Still, still fine. It's not, we're not anti Scrubs. Zach, Zach Braff did a good thing, <laughs> right? Did a yeah. good thing. The whole idea is like, no, I mean, I think the whole, the, the language always goes back to if you're a bakery and you have religious beliefs on not uh, believing human beings that want to love each other that are the same sex uh, should have rights at all, uh, then you shouldn't have to make them a cake. That's the like the whole, like for their wedding or whatever. I mean, technically... As a business, and as a person who very much supports all businesses in the world, uh, to do uh, autonomously what they want, uh, you, you can you can say, I don't want to do this company's work. I don't want to do work for Jamie. I don't want to do work for Google. Whatever. Like, you can say that, whatever. <laughs> but but you, you, don't, don't, you don't have to bring everything else into it. Like, just say, I don't want to do that work. And you can say that. That's fine. Um, I don't go and break no cake for them there, gays. But if you start to sound like me. Miller shooting the, the mountain, the then you're running into like. trouble. <laughs> I just want Turk as a friend. Can we just... <laughs> <laughs> can we just... 
Oh my god, I'm going on to our next news story, um, which this one is really cool, I think. Um, researchers researchers develop trauma foam uh, for combat. Uh, so this is a, a foam that, so somebody gets shot, and you take this solution, you put it in the syringe, and you inject it into them to keep them alive for up to, oh fuck, I lost the point where it says how long after certain trauma that a person could stay alive with this foam that would basically just freeze everything in a sense. It would just hold everything in place where it was. Uh. Uh, if inserted quickly and uh the reason this is really cool is because they kind of took the idea from video games of like health packs and just spray no on, you know where like, this is treats. from so so you're, you're saying foam you you squirt this foam into it it solidifies it's kind of like a it's not like you're not it's not like a, a miracle cure or anything it's basically to yeah. get you to the next That's area super under cool. super extreme mm-hmm. situations mm-hmm. Yeah. everyone here's seen fireflies movie right serenity yeah, no. They have yeah. that shit in Serenity. <laughs> There's a point where that chick's back, or what's her face's back, gets all cut down the, the the backside, and they fucking go, and she gets up and she's like, "All right, I'm good for a bit," you know, like it's her spine, like it's just, it's oh it's God. it's uh, what's it called? It's like stucco for fucking humans. It's great. <laughs> yep. yeah. No, but this is cool. Like I love seeing cool like. Really high advancements in technology like this, like I think this is super fucking cool. Like, so I'm just cool. waiting. I'm waiting for this to be like just a normal thing, like where it's over the counter. You're like, oh yeah, fuck, broke my arm. No, this, is, this should never be over the counter. This should never be over the counter. <laughs> be like, oh fuck, I got in that car crash. My fucking legs hanging off. Let me get my fucking <laughs> my spray fix. All my right, arm head got on to cut work off. Now. Let me just. <laughs> People will abuse the shit out of that, though. <laughs> I don't need to go to the Someone doctor. Will find a way to get I'd be like, Miller, that. Miller, shoot me. Shoot me. <laughs> no, trust me, man. It's cool. We'll get to the doctor. No, it's it's, work, it's, man. Home. it's fine. It, it's going to be a good home. DKG bit. I'm telling you. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try to add this in the shoulder. to the stream. Yeah, come on. Quick. There. So that's what that looks like. I got a web window in the middle of us okay. uh, just to show off things. Uh, As you see here. <laughs> <laughs> it's right in the center over the chat uh, but so that's the idea of the foam is it apparently solidifies all your organs because that's going to be fine um, like I definitely yeah. think that that like this this is the type of cool shit Whoa. that when you're like I want to see what the advancements in technology that's in cool. the world are like and, and you start to be like eh, like I don't think anything's ever changed this is something that's changed I never thought something like this would ever exist where you're just like eh fucking shoot them full of foam and We'll take care of it. <laughs> I, I I I am fully fully uh, on board with all of medical science, um, and I've always been. Yes. I mean, I, I'm like I, the reason I I I I don't I don't fear like old age and death because I'm like no, dude, I'm gonna live for like ever. Like I'm fine. <laughs> like trust me, medical science is gonna be just fine. I mean, fucking right. fifty years ago, we were just you know I don't know, cut them open, see if it works. Like. <laughs> Drink some whiskey. What's this? What's this? Uh, At this point, we transplant. We, we transplant heads. Like, yeah. Why don't? We, oh, did you hear about the dude who had a penis transfer? Different head, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, allegedly, like I'm not gonna look. Around. Allegedly, but don't you become a different person if you use someone else's penis? Like, isn't that where your soul is kept? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Like, wh- are you even you anymore? If you have a different dick, <laughs> right? So, uh, so my <laughs> mental retardation, right? I type in dick transfer in the Google. Yeah, that's what like, happened. Hard disk, hard disk transfer. <laughs> like, are you trying to are you trying to change hard drives? <laughs> yeah, no, fuck it. Uh, it, it. It's a thing. Uh, you can Google search it. You'll find it. It could be it's out disk. there. And oh yeah, you know it could be cybernetic dicks. <laughs> I want um, my cybernetic dick. I don't. I, I have not done enough reading on this at all. Um, so this may be fake or broken or whatever. But the news sources look legitimate. But uh, so as I mentioned, head transplant. Uh, there is a 30 year old Russian dude announced that he is uh, becoming the subject of the first human head transplant ever performed. Uh, he's going to have his head removed and put onto another person's body. Uh, yes. So you want to deal with where your soul is at that point, or where your mind is, or who's in control of what, like. They've tested that with <laughs> monkeys and dogs. Yeah. They worked That's... for a few minutes and then they died. 
<laughs> Frankenstein shit, man. Did nobody ever, yeah. did nobody read the, that? The body rejected it. Oh no, like, we've got oh, we've got we've cells. got plenty of literature to say this is a bad idea. <laughs> plenty in all aspects of religion and science and everything. But whatever. I mean, fuck it. Who gives a shit? Let's do it. Let it. the Russians chest Show it first. The odds now. <laughs> See, no, that, God, see now, yeah. th- now that's gonna like lead into them having super soldiers, and now Russians are gonna be the bad guys again. Well, right, yeah, fucking- you got a shitty body, but you got a good fucking mind for battle, dude. Switch my body out, <laughs> fucking something, you know? Yeah. Like, oh my god, that's gonna be so bad. No, because what it gets into Ace is the same conversations we had during Talos, and the same conversation we always have on this fucking show, okay. which is uh, a moment where I slowly delve into singularity <laughs> bullshit and uh, and all the other stuff, which is yeah. We have a whole other show for that, which I don't want to discuss. <laughs> Let's not go there. Um, I have our next news story, which actually comes with a YouTube video. I don't know if you want to play the video, Curly. <laughs> um, <laughs> because the video is pretty fucking, fucking funny. Um, my car is covering. <laughs> the different fonts. <laughs> oh my god, you font snob. I'm not gonna I normally I normally say in the show that especially during the live stuff, um we're not gonna necessarily focus on acknowledging chat, but <laughs> you but. fucking font snob, let it go. <laughs> it's not even that hard. Fucking font oh. snobs. Okay. The right, curling so- on the eye is too much to the right. <laughs> She's a fucking graphic designer. What do you want? Like I'm not a graphic designer, I'm just an illustrator. There. Oh, there's no copy paste nice fucking yes. Copy God. pasta. Also, how do you know Palantino linotype by look? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. How do you know that? Well, you do use it for everything. It's the one I like, and I didn't copy and paste it. Anyways, continue the show. <laughs> oh, yes. Please, uh, go on. All right, so, uh, God damn, this fucking Domino's ad is so not Kaz, fucking would you great. pay to Dom- eat garbage? I'll sponsor it. What? No, you're skipping a story, Miller. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, you just, you just, you just, story. oh, this shit. Kaz is about to fucking do it live. Fucking <laughs> freak out. Yeah. Mom's new tool for the war on dinner. Uh, this is a product that is now being sold called the Pepper Hacker. Uh, it is basically, uh, for lack of better terminology, and because I used to be a Call of Duty player, uh, a mobile EMP. <laughs> <laughs> And pepper shaker. <laughs> and pepper shaker. Um, so this is this is a very like this is a for the millennials kind of thing, like the fucking the mom versus the millennials, where your, your kids won't come to fucking dinner, won't get off of Instagram, won't turn off their fucking Playstations and their iPads and their <sighs> fucking dibbly doos. You fucking give this pepper shaker a couple of turns and uh it shuts off all electronic devices. Yeah, well so um Wow. <laughs> Car- Car- you guys talk about it for a second. I, I- I'll-, I'll hold my opinions off of this <laughs> for a bit. Men in black shit. No, what is your opinion? Like, I want to know. Um, so I-, I actually watched this. I don't know when I saw this video. Um, it must have been I was just clicking on Facebook shit that someone linked or whatever. Um, yeah. But basically, without showing you the fucking two-minute video, uh, it-, it features, you know, super generic white mom... Uh, the family. American dream. The American dream fucking oh, white picket fence white ha- household. Fence. Uh, of a bunch of uh, of a bunch of really shitty ass fucking human beings, uh, <laughs> while this fucking crazy. poor woman just fucking makes someone dinner, and no one gives a shit about it, and then and then all of a sudden when all the electronics are off, and this is what I hate about a lot of uh, uh, people that complain about the the they they blame they blame shitty people for or they blame shitty people on uh, technological advancements, and I'm like. Mm-hmm. Really, in this video, what happens is is she turns the thing and it fucking EMPs the whole house, and all the electronics go off, and Grandpa's pacemaker turns off, and <laughs> uh, you know, basically, basically everything turns off, and all of a sudden, everyone's the fucking poster child, uh, awesome, amazing kid. I, I don't know. There, there's like a there's wow. like a, a no. ten twenty seconds in that video where everything shuts down and people freak the fuck out. <laughs> but that, but that like, being said, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, everyone's uh, got yeah. conversational topics and everyone is ready to, to hang out That's and be cool. I'm telling you right now, if if oh, if God. taking away taking away internet stuff or taking away television or whatever you whatever you think is a distraction, uh, isn't going to solve your shitty fucking parenting. 
I'm right. sorry. No. Everybody's just gonna sit at that table and be fucking mad. I I yeah. knew I knew many a kids that Flip were so fucking table. so fucking into books. And their parents had to rip those fucking books out of their hands to get them to go fucking eat dinner. And it was a tantrum all the way to the fucking thing because you raised your fucking child wrong. Because your kid doesn't... If you think having dinners, which isn't for everyone, the whole idea of the American dinner, everyone sits down at 6 o'clock and eats fucking beets or whatever the fuck uh, you make and shit. Uh, if you think that's a thing that you want to to have in your family, uh, when, you're, when, when two of your kids are 15 and another one's 7, isn't the time to start it. Okay, to try to implement it. You need to set that fucking, you need to set that standard early and make sure you fucking reinforce it. Also, maybe have a bit of a backbone. Just read it too. What? I love that curly idea of the American dinner is fucking beef. I don't know what fucking parents eat. I know we're not really eating chat. Oh man, it sucks that grandpa's on the floor now. Too bad we can't call an ambulance. It's all of our phones is got shut up. Uh, whatever. It's just it's it's it's. I get this. I get this all the time because I I I have coworkers that are older, or I I have friends that have kids that are, you know, about tennish right now at this point. Jesus Christ, and it's uh, it's like oh yeah, no no, no technology's ruined my kid. They always just fucking play video games now, and I'm like oh honey, we played video games ten years ago, fifteen years ago. We had distractions. You're just a bad parent. Fucking, it's not technology's fault. It's not because the fucking. Uh, you know, the government's been putting fucking, I don't know, whatever the fuck's in the vaccines. I don't know what's the problem these days. <laughs> Jimmy, stop playing with your iPhone and eat your goddamn beets. <laughs> beets are beets. good for you. <laughs> beets are in a whole dinner, though. <laughs> like, Shit, you don't just serve don't understand. Beet. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Tito makes a good point, guys. I did. If you're going to react to chat, read what you're saying and make sure it's I from did. chat. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm gonna move on to our next news. No, story. you guys That's have comments on this, don't you? No it's not, it, it, this can't be no, just one segment where Curly my, yells. Like, my thing is, is it's a cool piece of tech. Like it is legitimately a cool piece of tech. It's an I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the person who takes that to a convention. <laughs> but so, has any of this actually? Is is any of this actually uh, discussed in regards to the staff of how it works? Because I, I guarantee uh, it's not actually shutting shit down. Like it's probably hooked into the Wi-Fi, and you have a bunch of like Internet of Things uh, Arduinos on the outlets that are shutting the TVs off. There's no way it's fucking. It's an app. I think that you have to install. Yeah, first. and you have that on your outlets, and you have it in your router, and it accesses the router, and it shuts things off yeah, until yeah, you put a password like, in. It. There's no uh, way in hell it's an actual EMP that there is. No, because someone not. would just they're like, oh, oh, I got my family sh- salt shaker. I'm at the airport now. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> like. Um. Inside it has a mechanism that will allow someone to turn off devices from Wi-Fi routers, cell phones, uh, even television sets for a full 30 minutes uh, in an attempt to get quality family meal for once. We need to stop all that stuff. It also <laughs> says, so moms around the world will have to make sure that everyone in the house has installed this before shushing phones. Yep. So you have to have an app. It's not just like yeah. a... Yep. Works for me. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's um, it's a cool piece of technology. <laughs> what they are claiming that uh, it it's going to do and what it's going to work for, like, is it's not stupid. cool in it, any way. Yeah. Like, it's it's really <laughs> stupid. It's not going to work. All you're going to do is cause your family to be even angrier. Like, I want to see the moment of mom being like, "Hey, let me borrow your phone to download this app," <laughs> because kid would be like. No, bitch. Good parenting, <laughs> you should if you actually care about this kind of stuff. You you have a relationship with your child. Never mind. I'm, that's, I know this is not the point of the story, but I just hate bad parents. No, it, it kind of is, it is the point though. of the story that, yeah, like, like that. if you've gotten to this point where you need a device to get your kids to fucking pay attention, then you, need then you already <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. You already fucked up. You lost that battle. GG, <laughs> go the fuck home. You fucking lost. I mean, to take, I mean, I don't agree with it, but take Kaz's advice. Kaz would just Beat the shit out of them. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the belt Not my out. first level of discord. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, no, like I, my, my mother was the type of person that she every so often would want to have family dinner. But if you fucking if you vetoed or if you GG'd at a fucking family dinner, she'd be like, all right, bye, bitch. Like, you know, like that's your choice. Like everyone else is going to sit and have fucking fun and we're going to laugh and have a good old time. And then you're in the other room like, oh, man, damn, they are having a good time. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have vetoed dinner. <laughs> like. You're like, can I, uh, I want to come hang out. And they're like, nah, fuck you. Like, you Time made your choice. Chat nails it. If, as a parent, you need tools to parent your kids, you failed as a parent. And that's coming from a fucking parent. Yup. There, Mr. <laughs> Boom. TJ. None of us have children at all, so we shouldn't talk about this anymore. Bro, yeah. we don't know about Kaz, but... Whoa. Kaz might have a couple babies <laughs> out yeah, there. Kaz. Maybe some you don't know of. It's but... not your fault, Kaz. It's just in your blood. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've stopped fucking things that have ovaries, so, like... That, that is one an form of birth anymore. control they didn't offer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm moving on uh, before cool. I say too much. Um, <laughs> all right. So, uh, new hip trend for all the uh, hipsters out there, which wasn't really a trend. Eating garbage, the new hip thing to do. Uh, which it really wasn't, uh, as, as I read more into this. This was like a restaurant doing kind of a theme uh, to kind of show their patrons, uh, you know, the worth of their food, I guess. Um, so this very exclusive uh, swanky, as they put in this article, swanky. New York restaurant um, started serving Dang. the scrap parts of food. Uh, as meals. Oh, so actual garbage then? Yeah, like legitimate fucking oh. trash. I was ready trash. to call this straight up uh, like title bait. <laughs> uh, if they weren't like, if it was just gonna be like fondant shaped into fucking uh, like garbage. Yeah. <clears throat> um, in what was oh god, this is so hipster and annoying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Very bitty cup. It's called freaking. Uh, so- for for three weeks, Blue Hill Restaurant in uh, Greenwich Greenwich Village uh, temporarily reinvented itself as Waste Ed with a capital E D, a pop up devoted to the theme of food waste and reuse. So they basically okay. just tried so, to get over by his fucking. What part of this do you trash. eat? None of yes. it, really. Wait. <laughs> you you Are look at it shows? and you go. Art. Yeah, I, I don't think that's... I'm hoping that that's just, like, a picture that they use for the article and not something that they actually serve to people. Like, because if it's that so is... Naughty. That's so fucking terrible. Hipsters. Yeah. It's disgusting. Um, I don't waste I, anything. <laughs> Save the earth. World a dish of dog food, which indeed looked like just dog food, which is actually meatloaf made with awful which is animal organs, and beef from a cow bred for milking. Gross. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I, I just, I saw this thing, and, and I, I had the exact reaction Curly did, right? I went immediately like, oh, fucking ultra hipster bullshit, like, just fucking because I can be different, like, fucking garbage, like. And then I read it, and I was like, this is... This is even. This is a level of hipster that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> I didn't know it could go this far. Wow. Right. Because they like the whole we've reinvented ourselves for three weeks. <laughs> like, no, you're just trying to. You're, it, it's a land grab. This was only yeah. to have the articles written. This was only to like do oh, all this thing. This was not to teach anyone anything. Yep. Like you didn't teach yep. anyone shit. You well, just we're, we're we're sending all of our viewers over to that restaurant to check it out. Yeah, we are. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, I, I'm, I'm, I, they got me because I'm talking about this article. I'm bringing it up <laughs> in any way, shape, or form, you know. And uh, that's just what it is. Oh, and this chick who's running this restaurant was also on Top Chef. Well, there you fucking go. <laughs> like, yep. I mean, I'm I'm not so like. What's it saying here is like, oh, you know, we went with you know. Uh, yesterday's oatmeal and off-grade sweet potatoes and all that stuff. Like, y'all know me as the motherfucker who will get down on some car pizza, okay? Mm-hmm. Pizza you left in the car from the night before. <laughs> it's good times. It's not bad. It's not wasteful. You don't have to throw it away. I'll eat, you know... You ever had a burrito you left in the car a couple days? 
Why'd you no. leave it in the car? I can't no. say that I did. How did you leave it in the car? car? I wouldn't leave you guys it in are the ruining car. this planet with your fucking wasteful ways. No, I just <laughs> fucking. What? Because I took my I food with me when I got out of the fucking car? <laughs> Sometimes you bring fridge? something to work and you forget it in the car, and then later you have car pizza. Uh, Alright. Room ham. Okay. Sometimes you leave your ham out in the room <laughs> and, and you eat it pizza. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Closet bacon. You'd Sometimes be surprised how little, you, in the how, how much it takes to actually get yourself sick. Rooms and food. <laughs> Bed butter. Sometimes you took a, a thing of fucking. I was gonna say a loaf of butter. What the fuck is a loaf of butter? There's been many times that I've had dinner and then either not finished it or forgot about it, and then the day after I woke up and I was like, oh my god, breakfast is here. It's perfectly office fine. Cheese. Sometimes bathroom <laughs> bread. <laughs> I, I don't see anything wrong That's with it, to be honest. Shower cheese. I just, I honestly, this is the moment that I had that realization when I said car pizza and I realized that no one else knows that term but me and my boss. <laughs> You've used it before. Oh my god. <laughs> shoe pasta. He'll come in all the I'll time and he's like, he's like, he's like, dude, I was, I brought this in Monday and I forgot about it in the car. And we'll be like, car right, pizza! Right, so, wait, wait, okay, so he said he brought it in Monday. What day is it now that you're Anytime between it? Wednesday and Friday is usually fine. No, honey, no. Yeah. No. Very fine. No. <laughs> it's got dead ones. It's, it's not going to go bad. It's in Ziploc. It's... it's... <laughs> What? Hold on. You have Wait. the audacity to put the fucking pizza in Ziploc. Zip yeah. But it's not just willy nilly sitting around on the on the passenger seat, uh, hanging out with a seatbelt on. <laughs> like it's, it's in. What was, what Yo, it's, it's, check out that new. Uh, in the sun. It'll cook the pizza in the sun, right? Yeah, that new DKG show, <laughs> cooking pizza in your car. <laughs> it actually tastes good if you get it like after noon, like. It's nice and it's warm nice already. And warm, yeah. Yeah, it's nice and warm. It's just like those heat lamps. Mm-hmm. Pop a jump. It's a heat Perfectly lamp. cooked, slow cooked, if you will. It's pizza. Slow mm-hmm. reheated. It's already so been cooked. Started... There's no way for it to get germs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you think that. with a Ziploc bag is trapping you the germs gross. in with it. You gross motherfucker. <laughs> All I'm saying is you guys are ruining are... this planet with your wasteful ways. You are eating a motherfucking oh, petri dish. If you guys, if you, if you, if, if you guys would be a little more aware of your surroundings and care about the future, Since where the our children in his fucking where car. our children will run amok, and we're passing this planet on. <laughs> and you throw away perfectly good pizza in your car. So that's no, gonna be. I, the... I put it in my fridge where it doesn't get bad. <laughs> yeah. So that's Sometimes gonna be the other thing that. Uh, that's going to be the other thing that those archaeologists find. <laughs> just going to, like, <laughs> fucking chisel out a car and be like, why is there a pizza in here? <laughs> like, you never left food in your fucking car. Come in on. In a Ziploc bag. In a Ziploc bag where it's safe. It's safe. Yeah. But there's no person in this car with the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. We just found the, just found uh, the car and a fucking pizza in a Ziploc bag. Oh, and there's some car garbage pizza. back here, too. <laughs> right. Oh, they went oh, to my, that garbage restaurant that we found that article on. Yeah. <laughs> my, my ex used to get really mad at me because we'd go grocery shopping, and then I'd be like, let's go to the beach. And she's like, but we have the groceries in the trunk. And I'm like, they're going to be fine. <laughs> like no. they're gonna be fine. <laughs> Let's just go to the beach. She can detour. Like, <laughs> oh no! Oh, my oh. ice cream's all melted. Now I'm realizing now. There's the the. Well, I wasn't. I was. I was the crazy one. It's fine. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Not me too. Yeah. <laughs> Time jumper says. I just say you're all a little wasteful. He ever has to cancel his stream. It's because he's in the hospital with food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I ate a car pizza, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Again? I tell you last time. You pretend I go to the hospital. <laughs> right, he's just gonna put the spray foam on it. Um, <laughs> uh, right. Google everything, and then oh, I have cancer. For those playing break. DKG Bingo at home, we can cross off call back. No, I just got it, dude. You really only need to worry about food in your car if there's dust. Yeah, it's in a Ziploc bag. Elements. Ziploc no, bag. The, the Ziploc, no. the, the fucking Ziploc not bag is not a seat. white room. It's <laughs> yeah. not a fucking refrigerator. It's I got the, it's the, it's got the double zip. <laughs> no, so, you're oh, trapping one the germs in, in the, the one. To grow on your pizza. Mmm. 
fucking fungus. So good. It has a pizza topping now. Like, great. I'm glad I ate that. Uh, so why are you linking the Matrix? Oh, okay. So here we go. Um, our next news story is a new service uh, by one of the co-founders of Uber uh, called Operator. And uh, Operator will get you what you want. So uh, this new service... Uh, Oh fuck! I lost my point. So basically, it's a it's an app where you you go on there and you're like, "Hey, I need blank," uh, and somebody will bring it to you. Go get it and bring it to you. Which there have been a few of these services popping up already, um, but uh, this one is only really getting traction because it's by one of the dudes who did Uber, and Uber is like all in the news right now. Wait, Uber bringing you stuff? No, no, it's <laughs> one of the co-founders of uber making a new service called operator and operator is a thing where you say you need said x thing and then somebody will bring x thing to you yeah you send a text to operator saying i need a new hat mm-hmm. why not right that's what, what uber drivers could do while, while they're not picking up people it has nothing to do with uber. <laughs> but that idea though that idea right yeah people yeah, already out there like, like already out doing stuff being like, we're, oh, we I got creating, this. We are creating the system of runners <laughs> and like lazy people. Like, like there are just people who are constantly like just driving around and running around town, like just picking up shit and doing shit for other people. That's the benefit. If you if you are if you have money and you're lazy, you can get shit brought to you. Fuck it. Operator and if you want like money and you're not that? busy, go ahead and get money by doing tasks for people that have money. What's yeah, it? so like it, it, I'm, I'm just <laughs> reading up on this. So yeah, it's it's there. Yeah, there are like four or five other thing apps and uh, services that already do this. And it and like Miller said, it's a thing you you call it up. You're like, oh man, my hard drive's dead, but I don't. I'm too fucking fat and lazy to leave the house. Like uh, I need a hard drive like this size, and I need it. I see this. Here. I see this all for food. Sorry. Yeah, this is just food and groceries. Yeah, I, 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 it's two in the morning. I need a fucking burrito. Whoever can bring me a burrito gets, you know. But fun. their selling point is there's not just that. It's everything. It's not like, just food. If you need. Oh. Couriers have been like, doing this for food forever, right? Get me the cheapest <laughs> four pack of white yeah. short socks. And B- Bitter Cup and Chat says uh, uh, TaskRabbit's been doing it, but, yeah. you know. It's nothing this, new. The idea, just... the idea of taking an already established, like, uh, company <laughs> runner, like someone that run has, has made Uber a real thing despite all of the naysay of like how would you implement that how would you actually sell that to the people uh and it's obviously been a success i think at this point you can say it's a success uh unless regulation comes in um yeah then uh then yeah cool i mean take someone who's already uh trustworthy in in regard to making this kind of thing and people are going to glom onto it uh task rabbit is still kind of smallish right not many people know it i didn't i didn't know what that was until you just said it <laughs> yeah yeah i never heard of it Two in the Sorry, morning, I mean, can you bring it's, the burritos it's in from my car? Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, because if you think about it, I mean, we're all, I mean, not all of us. Two of us are really old at this point. Uh, <laughs> when I was 20, dude, You're I would do anything for a buck. <laughs> anything. I, I, I'd fucking, I'd bring you food. I'd fucking, I'd drive you around town. Like, I don't give a shit. Shave your beard on stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would do, I mean, I need any, any kind of miscellaneous job that friends had, and they're like, yeah, I'll give you 20 bucks or whatever. Totally in. No big deal. You know? still doing anything for a buck but yeah no i, I totally understand what anything. you're saying like what? do you know what's, up? <laughs> what's crazy is like i know yeah. i know a lot of um i know a lot of uh salesmen in in my field just in the technology field alone uh that that do sales and whatnot or they do they do consulting and shit and uh on the weekends they drive uber cars around for money <laughs> like okay. it's just it's just extra money and it's like if, if you got like for me like I caught. I was like, "Oh shit, man! I could make a couple extra bucks." And I thought about it, and I'm like, "Or I could not put on pants." Like that's that's my world that I live <laughs> in. But if I'm trying to like pay bills and shit, then yeah, I'd really be like, "All right, let's fucking fucking get my Uber mustache car or whatever Lyft is or whatever." But I mean, I I think this is somewhat cool, but I don't know. It just it it like it makes me just feel sad for the world of just like hyper lazy <laughs> net fucking people who just don't ever want to leave their house and who are now just like if they have the money for it why not limiting is it, is it more jobs, and more yo? 
Wally, where interaction. everyone's like floating around yeah, in those yeah. chairs. Yeah, that movie where they're just sitting in chairs and driving their chairs around. If they can afford it, sure. Why not? They're so yeah. right, fat. Okay. It, cre- <laughs> it creates opportunities for entrepreneur people to fucking serve people that have the cash. Why not? Yep. I mean, I don't know. It, it it just scares me that like no, I like I already do most of my human interactions with you know the people I would call friends over the internet. Like it's just that layer. So now it's just like, oh, I could go to the store and buy groceries, but mm, no, I don't want to deal with people. Ace brings like, up like agoraphobic people that to. that don't actually want to leave the house or or have extreme anxiety where it's it's a fucking conquering a mountain just to leave the house yeah yeah i guess i guess i mean there's 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 already systems out there for that this is for the mass public yeah this is for the soccer mom who doesn't want to go get another case of fucking jack while she's watching her kids play fucking soccer shout out to the somerset moms if you can bring me like a like a jar of pesto (laughs) right now i'd be happy as fuck if you need a whole case of jack you're having issues miller it's somerset mom (laughs) She's going to refill all the Capri Suns with fucking Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get over it. Genius. As soon These as ones, Jamie hits 21. The strawberry ears are for mommy. The grapes are for the children. <laughs> Goob a girl. Don't, don't drink mommy strawberry. It's special. <laughs> it's mommy <laughs> drink. It's mommy drink. It's big kids drink. It's adult drink. Fucking, yeah, shout out to the Somerset moms, though. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's my favorite word just ever. Well, my favorite phrase Shout is to all my purrs. All my purrs. All my purrs. All my purrs. God damn it. So stupid. But eat your purrs. I want that as a um, sound board thing. It, it's right there, Mel. It's right there. It's so perfect. You could just cut right it. there. It's um, only a few seconds. Okay. So normally uh, when we're done with news bag, we kind of just rant until the show is uh over but i wanted to try out a couple of new segments and and kind of see how they go um so this one is uh we need to get rich bitch uh we need to come up with ways to not have to work nine to fives anymore (laughs) okay (laughs) <laughs> Shave a beard Isn't on that what stream. every day of your life is like? <laughs> yes, right now it is. How's so that working out for I'm you? Like, I'm, I'm making uh, now. I need to make other people do the legwork because I have not figured it no, out. My, my plans aren't working. My plans aren't working at all. Because not working. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know. Like so, the, I mean, yes, there are the easy kind of things out there of like. Do a Kickstarter, do an Indiegogo, do a fucking Patreon. But what do we do it for? What do we do it about? Like, what are what are we? What is what? Like, let's come up with a product that we can sell. That, I'm like, not getting you rich, needs. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the pair. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I, I will sell. I will sell secondhand yeah. food to people. I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> to oh people who God. aren't so bourgeois as the three of you, who right, think right, it's so, a problem to eat secondhand yeah. food. Can we do this right? Can we like take a reconverted garbage truck, <laughs> right, and go around the like all the restaurants and McDonald's <laughs> and like collect all their trash and then the, the the reconditioned garbage truck turns into a food truck <laughs> it's <laughs> viable just, food it transforms <laughs> just, <laughs> it trans- where we get the money for it to transform don't worry about that this is all hypothetical right now no you just don't <laughs> you use the dump what? truck to dump the food into the food trucks uh <laughs> trough i guess yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know Reconstituted what we food. You know what we could yes. sell? Work outside the convention. Pairs now. Pairs. <laughs> Pairs. Oh my god. No, that would be like the greatest. Like, like because now, now we're not wasting anything. Like Curly said, like we're going, we're we're doing the trash collecting, but then we're we're. <laughs> this, this is, is why you've never nothing's panned out for you, Kaz. <laughs> 
how to get rich so you don't have to work a nine to five by implementing many people doing a nine to five. <laughs> no, we get a trash truck and we collect a bunch of trash. Okay, that's already one job for lots of people. <laughs> Uh, two, we sell the food out of a food truck. That's also another job that people do uh, nine to five. Shout out to all the pair. <laughs> all right. Okay, now. Okay. Stop all right. It. We make pizza and we live right. in cars. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> no. We, fucking, we, we sell pizza and plastic bags. <laughs> Isn't that just basically hot pockets? I know what we can do. We can get we can get an sure. office, okay, in cubicles, and then all have our own cubicle that we work in and promote. So we don't have to work at a nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> but we work we'll work eight to seven, eight to four. Yeah, eight to four. <laughs> yeah. Well, so so we can go to the Panera and the McDonald's and the Starbucks that all donate their excess food at the end of the night, and we can tell them to stop donating it to charity. We're gonna sell it tomorrow. <laughs> don't tell for me, McDonald's. <laughs> Yo, or just oh, see that—that's the thing. We make an app that lets you know when a restaurant just threw out their food. Uh, it's the end of business every day Closing for that. Time. No, but every, different people have different ends of business. Like some places are kind of twenty-four hours. We let you know, like, <laughs> hey, McDonald's just threw out all those extra breakfast McGriddles that they fucking made and nobody wanted because they're fucking gross. You lie. <sighs> Those are fucking gross. Have oh, you yeah. had a McGriddle lately? They're no. fucking terrible. No, because they're gross. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> have you been to McDonald's in the past like six years? It's the be- okay. Yes, no. I have. McDonald's Why? Well, their coffee is pretty good. Their iced coffee. Because uh, I'm fucking like I have a 30 minute minute lunch break when I'm at work and it's like either McDonald's or shit from around the store. So uh, it's like, I don't I know if this is a secret that, that at least looks like a meal. Uh, supermarket food. The you can you can get food for cheap. <laughs> you buy yeah, a, you, you buy a pound of ham and a pound of cheese McDonald's. for the same cost at McDonald's. Room ham, and then you leave it in your car, and you've got dinner for the whole week. <laughs> does the does the ham change from room to room, or is it just like no matter what room it's in, it's room ham? I think we got does some it, room ham down here right now. Are actually, there specific varieties of room <laughs> ham, like. Bathroom oh. ham. Bedroom ham. Bedroom ham. Oh, man. Some bedroom ham. Some ham right here. Basement ham. ham. There you go. Why do you just have ham? Like, <laughs> at, your, at your arm's <laughs> length. Like, In case oh, I got man. hungry during the show. <laughs> God I'm damn it. The <laughs> there's, oh, hummus hey, around. There's, hum- there's hummus around here somewhere, too. <laughs> <laughs> Couch hummus. <Wow. laughs> Garage ham, technically. It's technically garage ham. <laughs> so it probably has, like, fucking bits in it, because the garage is, like, not sealed. Yeah, it's got the bits. All oh, the bits. bits in it. Oh. <laughs> Everyone is so passionate about their germs. Oh, but yes, it's in a plastic bag. Okay. My lack thereof is what I'm passionate about. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that was from last night. Yeah, also, ham is not a snack food. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is I also bought it at fifty percent off because it was expiring at the supermarket to begin oh with. My God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like ah, this will last another week, even yeah, though they say today. Yeah, say Conan kind of brings up. Didn't your hummus have a recall, Curly? It did, but it was already purchased. So, what are you supposed to do about that? <laughs> Return it. That's what a recall what a recall is. is. <laughs> It's like, can you please bring this back? Because we don't want to be responsible They're for murder. They're still selling on the shelves. <laughs> oh my god, those are the not bad ones. My, so mine it, might not be bad. You might not. A dangerous game. Oh, there's just shards of metal in there. <laughs> Medical no. science, people. It's gonna keep us all alive. Oh yeah, you just spray play, some foam on it. You're playing a dangerous game. All right. Um, <laughs> The the make me rich thing didn't work out so well. <laughs> <laughs> well how is okay, yeah, but that's a, such a weird idea. Like if anyone had that plan I've then, been doing it already. Yeah. No, it was it was supposed to be it was just supposed to be a fun, silly bit. And it kinda was a fun, silly that bit, but that's what it's all silly. about. It's all about testing bits. This is what we're doing. Okay, right thanks. Now. Bits, uh, yeah. 
All 32 of them. All about bat and bins around. Yeah. <laughs> bits. All 32 uh, but, bits. So... Uh, for those who are uh, too incoherent, too incoherent to understand, we are uh, the podcast. We do the live show on Twitch.tv um, over at DrunkKidsGaming.com. If you may be, for some reason, an audio listener and you want to uh, check it out every Sunday at uh, some time, um, but. <laughs> Uh, being that we do the show over at twitch.tv, we figured we'd talk about TwitchCon, which is coming up in September ish, right? September, September. 24th, 25th? Yeah. Okay. Or 25th through 26th. Fourth, Friday and Saturday. So, all right. So, what do we what do we know about TwitchCon? Have they announced any we're speakers? Going. That's all we <laughs> we know we're going. They, um, they haven't actually made up any uh, content yet for it. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That's always that's not a joke. Yeah, but hey, that's all conventions. They've got no content. Uh, they actually their email was their their email their email that went out uh, before the tickets went on sale was uh, a call to arms. Please create content for us. Would you like? Mm -hmm. Do you have content? <laughs> Would you like to be content? Because we could really use some content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please submit, submit your panels. Page please. Page five, uh, do you have any ideas that would make this actually five. fun? Because we don't. <laughs> please email. Like. Uh, we got about this far in the idea where we uh, found a location. <laughs> we don't know what else to do after that. I mean, we only recently found out where the location was, so. Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. So they didn't even I... pick a location, and they're like, okay, TwitchCon is happening. People, buy I'm your tickets. Gonna yep. take a wild assumption that I've probably been to m more conventions than most of our podcast panel. True. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe, probably. For a convention that's happening this year to not have yep any information, <laughs> I would I would uh -huh. like like other than the away? fact that it's Twitch, right? Other than the fact that it's Twitch, yeah. I would be like, "Fuck that shit." Yep. <laughs> like, the thing is, we're not going yeah. for the actual convention, like if we're being honest. But you're paying for it because you gotta get so, in. Like, but, uh, Okay, no, so, you don't. So I will. I will. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. At this point, I don't go to, to conventions for the actual convention. I go exactly. to take pictures of people in costumes and hang out with cosplayers and meet other mm -hmm. photographers and do all that networking in the cosplay photo art kind of world because I I really like that world. I think it's super fucking awesome. Um, Same. I went to an anime convention and I don't like anime. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Bittercup oh, brings up that they, they 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 for sure will have name badge stickers for you. Oh <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Are they going to Don't even There's talk about Dashcon. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't talk about Dashcon. If you want to hear about Dashcon, <laughs> other podcasts. For I, uh, I think was it you guys that recently uh, informed me what Dashcon was? Yeah, yeah, we did. Probably. That was, yeah. I think that was this week. It's a mess. Uh, this is the yeah, but. Well, I, I don't. I mean, I mean, everyone knows my opinion on it, and I don't want to like shit on it. Just to be truthful, like I, I'm, my my situation with it was, I was like, yeah, totally going to TwitchCon, and I'm still going to TwitchCon, uh, but I'm going to it with the same reason that I went to PAX South. I don't give a shit about PAX stuff, though. It was nice to see, like, some of my favorite indie game developers there. I had okay, the benefit so of playing super. Uh, what was that? Fucking speedrunners. I had the benefit of seeing Devolver Digital's entire area. I got to talk to the guy that made fucking. Uh, Titan Souls. I got to, got to talk to the guy that made um, Talos. Talos, yeah. Uh, and I got was to see a bunch of new things. Game? I even bought dice and I hung out. But the majority yeah. of the stuff was, was hanging out with the people that were there and that's why you go to conventions usually. But the, there's the added benefit of being like, oh, I'll go inside and get something signed by an artist or whatever or I'll meet some developer or whatever. Who knows? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, stuff. I, do, I do every so often take that trip at a convention down to the old uh the old dealer's room and find some knickknacks to buy and some some anime girly figurine things to keep some on my desk. Gold engineer from TF2. Yeah. yeah no big Look deal. That. Which which is random too. Uh, in, to in talking about kind of swag things, I'm not <laughs> the biggest Nintendo too. fan. But right. I kind of want those Nintendo Amiibo things. Why do you want those? Can we make this a subject right Wait, now? Just can, TwitchCon blah 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 bullshit. But seriously, why are people actually buying into Amiibos? 
I, they're fucking cool looking. Like I, I only looked at them today because it, it was a kind of a funny. You're bit late. You're late to the party. Dude. Everyone loves I am, these I am things. Very. I am very late to the party. Everyone's been um, losing like, their I, shit I over it. About them, but I don't really like. Um, I don't really like the the like those kind of things. Like you know, I like I like these. I like the Gundams um, and shit like that that I have like around here. But I have kind they of. They don't been do anything, into, right? No, no, this doesn't do shit. Like I have this it fucking sits there. light up or transform I, or anything. I have this Batman. He doesn't do shit. Well, no, he's on an amiibo. Oh, dropped it. No, 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 no. but it, but it's it's kind of the same thing, right? These are the fucking pop vinyl uh, toys that have like been doing everything. They have like the Walking Dead, um, Walking Dead, Batman, mm. like a bunch of DC characters and shit like that. And this is all it is. It just is this this kind of hard plastic that you just sit on a desk or somewhere in your car uh, okay. and then it's a uh, so, bat car. But so you like this let me just preface it. You like that that figurine because mm-hmm. it's something that you're passionate about. You're you're a fan of Batman. Yeah. And you find But it- I also I also like collecting these things, which is kind of like okay. like and there are some Nintendo characters that I do like that I would like to have that I think are kind of cool. Like I I don't get what? super hardcore into the whole thing like like I know the fucking Gold Mario, which is one of the amiibos. Like as soon as it's in stock, it's fucking gone. It but, is fucking But w- were we gone. in the need were we were we lacking in the world of of figurines for Nintendo's favorite characters? Like, uh, no, wh- why? Why never. the amiibo thing? I, look at them; they're fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> but there's tons of statues for exist. every character from Nintendo games ever that you've ever seen. Why the thirty, forty dollar ones Nintendo that have a stupid it. chip in it that you can put on your DS and fucking get Mario fireballs? Like, Yo, I didn't, I didn't even know it could do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's that. Skylanders, right? I mean, what they amiibos for for those that don't know are Skylanders, which was a brilliant marketing thing by the people that had the failing uh, fucking Spyro franchise. Uh, mm-hmm. No, Nintendo isn't lacking money. That's the thing. You just want more. I did, uh, it was brilliant for Skylanders, and, and which is and for those that don't know anything about like the world of cartoons and all that stuff, like the golden age of cartoons were basically who could take a you make a show. Make it interesting enough that people will want to buy the figures for it. The marketing yeah. of the the add-ons, the the the, the Ninja, Ninja Turtle blimps and the fucking Karate Chop action, <laughs> fucking dolls that you could buy were what sold cartoons and why why we had the big spring of Saturday morning cartoons and all that bullshit that happened uh, for that. Um, but that kind of went away. Like people stopped buying physical representations of their favorite characters. They just enjoyed more of the content on the television screen. And this whole resurgence came from uh, the Skylander stuff. People actually like had a, a a visual representation of their action figure inside the video game, which sold it action figures to a whole new market, whole new market. And and it was making hand over fist. It's still making fucking hand over fist money because uh, now you can buy separate ones that merge into each other, and then the chips fucking blah blah blah, and it makes a goddamn blah blah blah. Uh, <laughs> the Amiibos, it's not a new attempt, and I don't understand. Like, I feel like Nintendo's Mario's character's been around forever, and Link's been around forever. Uh, we have plenty of statues. Why all of a sudden is it working? Why is it working? It shouldn't work. That's my um, my old man complaint. Well, 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 you just, you just said why it works. One, it, one, it's the collectability of it, right? Like, every, no matter what, people always love collecting shit. Like, uh, people have kind of, to a certain extent lost the collecting of comic books with digital comic books like now people just kind of buy the the big omniburst ones to read not to really collect and then they have all the single issues on their phone or on their tablet and things like that um i buy these things to have like these i don't i don't consider these collectibles or i would have never uh push my <laughs> you glasses took up, it out of the box out of them. Oh, yeah um and fucking did you just push up your glasses that you don't own? yeah <laughs> yes. oh my god um but i do like all right, to be that nerd, I do have this Watchmen figurine that I haven't taken out of the box. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um because one I didn't I don't have the desk space for it and cuz she's posable, so I just don't want to fuck her up. Um but like I'm that nerd. I'm the nerd who collects shit. I like collecting fucking things and this is like a cool collectible thing to me. Like and and especially when you make it limited edition, limited series like <laughs> like that <laughs> you oh. know yeah. Fucking that course, that, that terminology that is a though. Land grab to people. Yeah. Because what that what that is is you know exactly what it is, Kaz. That that right there 
is what they're going to do with it is exactly what League of Legends has been doing. Where it's going to be yeah. like, limited time only skin. Back. Only mm-hmm. right Just now like you can get McRib. it. And then what they're going to do is in a year, they're going to be <laughs> like, we're, we're opening up the <laughs> vault. Those one time only characters you're going to get again. Here's your only chance. And then a year later, oh, here they are again. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're basically Mc, the they're McRibbing you. They're McRibbing you. <laughs> I think we found the show title. Um, <laughs> God damn it. No one but, likes to make rib, but if you take it away from you, they're going to fucking buy Mario figurines. The gold fucking like, Mario. Like, because, like, there are the people who collect things because they think, oh, I'm going to buy this thing now, and then, you know, in 20 years, it's going to be worth something. Like, no, anything no. that you buy now that's a fucking collectible isn't going to be worth shit. Comic books, whatever. Like, like yeah, you're going to hear about all these fucking comic books selling for millions of dollars, but those no. are ones that were made during World War II that when they were fucking burning comic <laughs> books and, and doing all these shit. So it created it created an actual limited edition of those fucking books. Whereas now they print fucking millions of them and everyone and their grandmother is going to have that collectible edition one. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's the same thing with these things. Like it's, it's one, it's the technology because people love collecting shit and people love getting those, those little notifications on their device or whatever. Cause like you said, you, you tap this thing on your Wii U or your, or your DS and it gives you some little. Their characters fucking... actually in the game you play as the characters oh figuring. Yeah. And like you said, the same thing with like Skylanders and a few other things that are doing this now. Um, and but at the same time it, it's like it's the league of legends thing it's the reason we buy skins and league of legends and and all this stuff i mean like, yeah, so so ace brings up there are, there are comic books that are <laughs> worth a crap ton right like uh whatever yeah. but there's there's usually circumstances that go superman, about for them superman like, number 1 for instance misprints uh, of things uh, that you never know like like people were buying amiibos that had like missing legs and shit that came out of the factory with like a missing fucking arm <laughs> Like, yeah. they, and they're they're worth money because they are misprints, and and I remember I remember that being a big thing back in the day. But like, trying to really corner that market is not a business plan. This is not something that you're gonna find. Yeah. And uh, let's make no, me like, rich, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I I remember. <clears throat> There was a show on, it was like sci-fi or something like that, about this guy who goes around looking for these really rare fucking toys. And, like, he'll find something at somebody's garage sale. I'm like, oh, my God, this is the uh, 1983 edition of the G.I. Joe. His costume is originally supposed to be blue and purple, but they uh, they missed it, the colors, and he's black and green. This thing goes for a mint. And you're like, you think he's going to say, like, oh, man, $5,000, yeah. $3,000. It goes it's, for a mint, $200. Hundred and fifty dollars, man! It's, like it's, uh, this is great. We're gonna have to try to get this off this guy for a good price. Four million percent of what it originally what? sold for. Okay, yeah, that's that's you know two dollars. <laughs> I, I have I have a couple um, of the. There was a run of Nintendo comics that went out that were based on Game Boy, and uh, none of it is canon. None of it makes any goddamn sense because it's written by some fucking poor schlup in the mailroom. Uh, <laughs> but they're all amazing art and they're fantastic to read. And they're considered hard to find. They're very fucking uh, hard to find. They they go for like twenty five dollars on the, on eBay. Like, I, I yeah, you're not gonna get rich off this stuff. I, I don't understand why it works. Yeah, I don't. I mean, like I said, for me, it's not. It's it has nothing to do with the get rich thing. It's just I I love having these little knickknacks around. I love it's, having. It's, it, my issue is it's the only the first time I've ever actually complained about Nintendo because. I don't care. I like that. I like no. that Nintendo's innovative like abilities to make things that you think would be innocuous and not wanted uh, mm-hmm. viable and and turn them into a, a an amazing uh, company, which they did with the Wii. Like you, you really didn't. No one thought the motion controls were going to be a big thing, and and they did. No one thought cornering the fucking market on casual gaming was going to be a thing, and it was. Uh, and I love them for it. Uh, they didn't do it well, and I don't want to give them shit because you know what? They fucking did it. Uh, but these amiibos don't make any sense to me. Why are they popular? <laughs> Everyone else has it's action figures. The, Everyone else know. has tried it and is doing it. Why is it working for Nintendo? Because, because everyone else a, has it. Right. One, because, because they're it's not the even Nintendo good at it. IP. No, but it, they could make the, it so much better. It's the popular kid thing. Make right. it, make it's it, the, make it fucking, make it Monster Hunter, up with where like Joneses. every amiibo has its own like random amount of data, and you might get a super fucking shiny amiibo. Wait, 
But you know what? You know what? They could come out with a Monster Hunter edition of Amiibos. They, they won't because could... they're bad at it. You don't know that. I do. I do hate that they do have a Wii Trainer one. <laughs> a Wii Fit Trainer one. Like, pretty tough. Because no one gives a shit about that character. Like that's gonna be someone. Mommy, I, I, I most identify with the Wii Trainer silhouette girl. <laughs> oh like no, no, that's not an action figure. You're missing the point <laughs> of what Wii action Trainer figures are. Can. The silhouette girl that you use the fucking background of your fucking yoga class where you're doing downward dog is not something that you should attain to be. I want to be milk toast white and not have any kind of uh, identifying figures whatsoever that make me unique. I, I kind of want this little Max, though. I don't want any of it. Seems like a waste of money to me. I mean, I, and yeah. I, I see that. I mean, like, I, I see what you're saying now. Like, most of it is linked to the Super Smash Brothers series and uh, stuff like that. But, like, I just looked at them as cool fucking figurines. Like, that's all. I, I, my all my issue, figure. Nikon, is they're being sold hand over fist to people as collectors in, in our, our, our sweeping the world. Everyone's like, oh, I got the new Amiibo Princess Peach. She's standing here with an umbrella. Well, you know what? N- Nikon's probably the person buying these off. <laughs> like, he buys do, fucking Do you want to like, you? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like oh shit Fucking people in your late skin yeah, game, game, oh, gamer mom you gotta go to walmart <laughs> go on the walmart here, man i want i want all, all of my action figures walmart. to be movable fucking i want karate chop action i want blimps i want them to be able to shoot catapults this engineers See, like i've i've always had like i've always had like some series of toys do you have action jamie so, okay, uh, pretty, sorry. Uh, it, it doesn't really I move. broke his arm off. <laughs> I almost broke him. <laughs> I thought he moved. Well, his head moves. <laughs> like, like, I even like the fucking loot crate stuff. Like, the loot crate stuff comes with, like, a bunch of the, like, sometimes yeah. it will come with fucking pop figurines. But it's, like, just, it's a bunch of random ass swag from fucking video games and and <laughs> other shit like like fucking knickknacks that they threw in extra that they're now selling to you for 13 bucks <laughs> like you know want, like i just want to make fun of hipster emo nikon i wouldn't touch him with a 10 foot pole physical media is dead there's no point <laughs> in having anything physical anymore nikon wow. says uh in his single life <laughs> <laughs> no but like like so, so I, I, right, I'm going to make this ad- admission right now, right? Like, I've already broken these, right? <laughs> like, like, so that goes to show, like, how much I don't really care about them. But they're just cool to have. Like, I like having this physical thing from, like, different animes that I like and, and different things that I like that I can just display my nerdiness, you know? Like, it's the same reason I'm wearing a fucking Archer t-shirt right now. Like, <laughs> it's just it's just this thing to display my nerdiness for me in in that sense. It's not the it's not the making money sense from from my perspective. I agree. Let's play. Let's play TF2. I don't really care about physical things. I mean, this engineer, he's freaking gold. I think it's fun. No, I I, so I, cool. I actually agree. I like physical. I feel physical. I like this I'm not... kind of stuff, but not really. Like, and, I don't have and, and Kaz, your t-shirt's character. fucking cool as shit. Awesome. Like, I like yeah, it, right? Like, it's for season six. Mine's got space dude on it. Space dude. Just some astronaut. Yeah. Oh, but so that's like a thing. Like, like, thing. Like, <laughs> Like Jamie, you've made like physical kind of oh sculptures like, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, different. That's, that's kind of what this is yeah. in a sense. It's like a, it's like a fucking sculpture that just is here, you know. A and, sculpture, right? And that's fucking that's cool. That's something that Jamie made. That's fucking cool. That like from my mind, sounds different. Yeah. I mean, I, I I'm kind of on with Nikon's thing. Like in regards to um in regards to keeping this on a branding situation, something that you can offer your fandom, uh, for like Nintendo for buying stuff. Uh, the action figures are great because they do sell amazingly, uh, and they cost nothing to make in a Chinese factory with little children. Um, but but like Nikon's saying, like I would rather take uh you know service and shit online or whatever. Like. You know what sells better than that is all those. I mean, the amount of people that would pay for like in a Minecraft server that is just even not even like global, just a local Minecraft server for like having their name be a different color than everyone else's and stuff, or having some kind of flair on their name or special emojis okay. or whatever the fuck. Um, I think that's an untapped yep. market right now at this point. If you want to talk about how to get me rich, bitch, 
Like, <laughs> I mean, like, I, I would want to disagree, but then, like, I fucking you spend do. $40 yeah. on Hearthstone cards. You do, and... don't you? you know, I don't even care. The card can be even more powerful. I just want it to be gold-plated. I'll pay money for that. No, I sell all the gold cards so that I can build <laughs> other cards. Um, but, no, like, I, I, I understand it. It's just, it's it's cool little little shit. Like, I, I'm not super into the, like, the digital shit because I'd rather have the physical thing. I'd rather have this thing that I can really show that I fucking have. But... I mean, either way, it's still cool. I, it's a way to share and show your fandom. Um, and I think those things are just extra. TwitchCon. <laughs> and that's our coverage of TwitchCon. All right. Yeah. So if you want to catch so the show, you know where to find it. Back. Yeah, so um, thank everyone. Thank everyone who was here for live. <laughs> that wow. <laughs> My God, the um, stroke is real. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks everyone who came out uh, and enjoyed the live show. Uh, if you would like to do the same and you're listening to this in the audio version, you can go over to twitch.tv slash drunk kids gaming and you can watch Curly play all kinds of games throughout the week. Right now, it's going to be a lot of Bloodborne. Uh, yes. and there's it's actually, I don't things. think it can be. What? I'm thinking about it right now. Like, m- tomorrow, so every Monday we play multiplayer games with the viewers, so we're probably going to play TF2 mm-hmm. tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Welcome, gamers, heroes. Oh, by the way, girly, I did Hold tweet out. Hold on, still talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> the Battle Block Theater quote randomness is a bad idea for the fucking fucking podcast. Because oh. <laughs> some of those wow. quips are fucking long, and I can't stop them. <laughs> so, like, someone follows the channel, and it's like, as if Poseidon himself spat down, <laughs> and they're like, shut up! Yeah, All right, that on. makes no sense to the audio, to just be like, what, what? Yeah, because the audio is recorded on Kaz's side, and the video is recorded on my side. (laughs) Anyways, go on. What's up? Oh, I was just saying I tweeted out the email. I don't know if that was a thing. Oh, Oh, yeah. So, questions. So, so, um, we would love uh, to have a segment of you guys sending us anything. Just send us, like, uh, your thoughts, your prayers. uh, Pray for us in this time of need. Uh, (laughs) And to do that, you can uh, send those things over at podcast at dkg.com. So, we we do have Um, a couple questions. Uh, So, remember, we we mentioned this last time. We were like, seriously, anyone that's watching, please send an email. Anyone will take anything. So the questions that we got, um, one was from JVZ. He sent it to JVZ at DKGTV.com. <laughs> and his message was, I claim this email address as my own. Uh, that was it. Uh, All right. Right. A, the other one enough. was from someone That's called right. Alex. Uh, I'm not going to say your last name. His message was, oi. And that's it, Is guys. It? That's, all that, that's all that came in the mailbag. Oi. That's no, it. thank you. Boy. You, you know what? Thank you. That's for something. That. Thank you. Yeah. It's something. Uh, and, and you can send longer things. Uh, if you keep it less Maybe. than a fucking story of your life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like like less than a paragraph. Uh, so podcast at DKGTV.com uh, uh, is that address again for you to send all of those things. Uh, like I said, uh, follow Curly here at this channel, Drunk Kids Gaming. Uh, you can listen to the show on all of those devices that you have, and you can go over to iTunes and rank it. And sometime rank it this review. week, this will be on iTunes, or what, by yep. the time this episode is released, it'll be on iTunes. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. um, oh wow. Okay. Uh, you could follow Miller at the re- real. C- oh, God damn, the strokes Stroke. are so real. <laughs> We're stroking out the you real Sigler Miller. <laughs> At the real C Miller on Twitter, you can also follow his Twitch channel, which is at what is it, Miller? The real C Miller. Everything. All if right. you want to find me on the internet, I'm the real C Miller. Great. Not the fake uh, one. You can you can see uh, Jamie be terrible at video games and also make art over at her Twitch <laughs> channel, which yeah, is sure. twitch.tv slash visual Jamie. Is it her underscore in? No underscore. No Just underscore. Visual Jamie. But. If you want to follow her on Twitter, Twitter. you got to use the one that's the underscore, because the other one might be a dead person. I'm going to fucking find that out later. (laughs) Yeah, please. (laughs) And I promise by next week, we will have all of our fonts at Palantino Lino type. (laughs) (laughs) Lest we rage the chat. Um, If you want to follow me, it's at King Kaz on Twitter. Um, And you can follow all the podcasts that I do just by going there. Curly is at Curly. Thank you for listening to another fine episode of DKG. Well, this was episode three. They be McRibbing you.